Hey, it's Melicat. I raise seven cats in a small flat, and I'm a cheapskate travel rat. If you're into animals, budget travel, adventures, or explorations, hit that subscribe and hit on that bell. Extra. Okay, um, we're doing a roster right now. So this is the medication roster that we're doing. As you can see, Holly. Hi, Holly. Hey. So what happens is that this is the roster um, for all of the cat. We got Buddy, Moi Moi, Gong Gong, Yellow Cat, Blue Cat, Sir uh, Carlos, Sparta Cat, and Ding Ding. That's a Chinese character, by the way. Um, so today's uh, what is it? August twenty seventh. We only have one dose for today, and then two for tomorrow. Wait, we have ten doses. So after this, all my cats should be done, um, and then we have Ding Ding for five more days after. Yellow cat doesn't seem to be pleased with the whole medicine schedule. Sorry, cat. Sorry, we gotta wash the litter boxes, all of them, because giardia in cat's poop is what makes it transmit. Got some garbage bags, so we gotta get rid of all these litter and wash out all the boxes now. Okay, so we gotta get rid of all of the cat litter. It's a very wasteful. Uh, procedure because instead of keeping my litter box scooped, I am going to wash all this, put in new litter, not too much, but as soon as somebody poops, um, we're going to get rid of the entire litter um, so that that way little morsels of poop will not uh, stick to the uh, little pebbles um, that I might miss. So here we go. Ah. We call this the fry rice posture. I fry the cat litter rice. Actually, that's that's what you do when you use uh, what is it, tofu cat litter. Just so you know. How many litter boxes do you guys have at home? Yes, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is so much cat litter that I'm getting rid of already. See? Ta da! And also five more to go. Giardia in cat symptoms, uh, it's smelly, watery, runny poop, and it's really hard to detect in multi-cat households because you don't even know which poop that one belongs to. Oh, I think yellow cat knows something's up, huh? Where's the litter box? Where's the litter box? Now here we have Holly, who's uh, taken up the role of scrubbing the litter box with a toothbrush. Show me yeah, Biddy. Huh? Biddy? Mm, bye bye, yeah. Oh my god. What happened to the litter boxes? Coco. What happened? Wish I guy? And this is all because uh, Ding Ding Shesh Giradia. I think that's how you pronounce the name. So they have runny stools that really stink and it has blood in it. It's all from that parasite, which is about to go. Where's all the litter boxes? <gasps> yep, something cheesy is definitely going on. All right, only the lids left now. Oh my God. Okie dokie, we're just leaving three litter boxes out with minimal, oops, with minimal cat litter inside because instead of scooping them, we're just gonna throw them out each, every time, well, after each time somebody poops in it. All right, this is a medication for eight cats. So we have two types. One is called Panicker. Panicker is actually, they said it's very bitter. Um, it's actually Fenbendazole, yeah, also known as Panicker. Anyway, so um, then the other one is the antibiotics, which is the Metronidazole. Oh, good Lord. Well, good thing we don't have to take the whole pill. We have um, the pill pockets. Oh, Buddy doesn't seem to be interested, or any of my cats. Quarter pill. We'll see how hard these things are to cut into. They don't even have a line going across. It's just an emblem. How the hell are you supposed to cut that? Okay, so my experience, you're supposed to cut it quick. Uh-oh. Is that good? Could be better, right? Could be better. So let's try it. Damn. I don't think it's exactly one quarter. Okay, let's get the pill pockets. 
This is definitely not one quarter. Okay, mom. Okay. Ding, ding. To my blue cat safe, Anya. All right, on the top is uh, the milliliters in terms of how much you need for the liquid medicine. Because they say stapled, they staple these bags together. So we gotta take out the stuff and then just make sure that the staples don't get eaten by the cats. Have to chop the pills. Have to, you know, uh, write the names on it in case we wake up in the middle of the night and, you know, can't read the small print. But yeah, there it is. They still have no idea what's coming yet. Don't know after today. When they say you have to do one third of a pill, the nurse said you actually chop it into half first, which it kind of crumbles a pill. So I'm supposed to cut this into three. So by logic, two sixths is one third. <laughs> oh my God. Actually at a glance, it looks like we're doing some sort of drug business here. Sir Carlos, do you want some medicine? Do you want medicine? If you guys like my channel and want to keep it alive, there's always Patreon. Thanks, guys. So sometimes I just mess up, and as you can see, this is actually a third. So what am I going to do is I'll use a pill pocket to actually wrap it up into like a little, little kitty wonton. Um, Uh-oh, my cats think there's food. They smell the pill pocket. So there we go. Okay, so this is one portion. There we go. Looks like a big booger. No, no, not yet. Okay. First person to be pilled, we got Buddy, and then we have the Go Go ready, and then we have the this, and then we got some water um, with a syringe, and then they're all using their own syringe for the medicine. Okay. Buddy is very easy with medicine, so all I have to do is go one, two, three, and Oh, oh, that's fun. Here, take the middle. Buddy, buddy, you're supposed to be the easiest cat. Hold on, got it. Hold on, 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 All right, we have the first visitor of the bathroom. Let's see if she took a piss. Oh, wait. We wait, we wait, we wait, come back out. There's uh, not enough cat litter, so I'll help you move that stuff over there. Okay, when we come out, when we come out, when we come out. Okay, there's no poo poo. Okay, no need to scoop it yet because it's only transmitted through poo poo. Now, because we need two milliliters, and we kind of figured, uh, let's see the syringe. Two milliliters is actually a lot. It's like this much. So maybe break it into two. So we're not like actually shoving that, you know, that much liquid down their throat each time. It's like a choking hazard. Gotta shake this stuff up. Maybe I'll do 0.7. Um, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, then 0.6, because this stuff is supposed to be really bitter. I'm tempted to try it. Should I try it? Should I try it? Yeah. I'm going it. Ooh. All right, try it. Come on. Okay, buddy. Buddy, some. Wow. Wow. It's all over. Okay, go, 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 go. Xiu, 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 go, go. Mũi thay đó. Gì đây? Có là xích xiu, xiu, go, go. Đắng hơi bọt. Nhớ nhớ. Okay, let's refresh that pellet a little bit because this stuff really doesn't taste too good. Uh oh, and this is supposed to be the easy cat too. Okay. That really rinsed the palate now. Hey, come on, let's have some cocoa. Okay. 
Have some cocoa. Come here. Don't be pissed off. Now, now, now. 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 I wish that they made a more user-friendly medicine. Ah, oh. Daddy, you want some go go? Wow, that was a hard-earned tick. Okay, so yeah, I'm just holding them between my legs right now. Go go. This is easy. You ready? One, two, three. Hey, ease up. Okay, see to them. This is just a piece of food, supposedly. Okay, good job. I can imagine Giradia in kittens or loose stool in cats of that age is actually much more dangerous because, as you probably know, um, diarrhea for younger cats is actually more life threatening. Oh, no, it's actually like, wow, that was not easy. And we have some on the floor too. Oh no, what are we gonna do? So this is what happens when they actually got to taste the medicine, it's too bitter. That's their natural reflex. Can't continue because uh, Gogo, he was spitting out the white foam. He's not happy with me right now. All right, there's Sir Carlos, Sir Carlos. Made up, made up, made up. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was really easy. <gasps> yeah, it fell up. That's right. Yeah. There we go. Good job. What a good boy. What a good boy. Eight done done. <laughs> Uh, I think it ended up on oh. me instead. Oh, look at my arm. Because it's a bit stressful for a cat. Now for the next one, for Ding Ding, we're gonna see if putting the panker um, in there is going to help because she's very food motivated. I hope it works for her. There's Holly trying to fend off my other cats. Sounds like we actually found a solution for Ding Ding. But is this how to treat Giradia in cats? Especially in a multi cat household? I don't know. I'm still learning. Yeah, you want it? You want it? Oh, they want the cocoa. Huh? <laughs> okay. This is for Ding Ding. No, 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 Sir Carlos, no. Sir Carlos, Sir Carlos, no. Okay, fine. Here, have some. Oh, he still has some residue on his face. So this is for Ding Ding. Oh, keep Sir Carlos away. Okay, divert, divert, diversion. Hey, Ding Ding, Ding Ding, let go. Oh, she doesn't want it. It's too bitter. Okay, Ding Ding, Ding Ding, is it too bitter? Um, we put the panker into here and then we're gonna feed go go the wet food. Go, do you want some of this? Did the medicine now is changing another angle? It has been uh, just over an hour, so now we have Gogo. We got some of the white uh, Pangaker stuff left, and then we have Spartaca who didn't have anything yet. Right, first piece of poop by Blue Cat. Oh my god, I'm so sleepy. And I got like the panicker stuff all over me. 
I'm actually gonna check the vet tomorrow and see if that stuff actually comes in pill form because that liquid form is really, 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 really stressful for everybody. So I'm not so sure about that. I looked online, there's actually a pill form and like other forms. I don't know why they make it so hard. Yep, it's uh, 4.30 in the morning and I am stocking on my cat poop. Ding Ding just had some runny poop and uh, now I have to wash the litter box in the middle of the night and I just kept Buddy from jumping into it. Whew. So I have to do this all week long. Well, guess what? I uh, clogged my toilet by um, putting in too much so-called uh, flushable toilet or uh, cat litter. So I clogged this whole damn thing. Water came all the way up. And guess what? My plunger is like super short. So you can imagine I had to stick my hands in it. Um, so I had to sanitize the whole entire bathroom by using like, yeah, the sanitizers, which I don't like to use, um, but I have to. So it's like five in the morning. I'm cleaning up my bathroom. Great. You know what? I realized I didn't really eat much today. Oh, this is my breakfast. It's uh, green onion pancakes. Wow, it's my turn to sleep when the sun comes up. Sleep for about uh, three hours. It's almost six o'clock. We wasn't happy with the shallow litter, so we're playing around with the amount of litter because um, we're not putting in that much. Because usually we pour the whole thing out if someone pooped in it, so it's just not to be wasteful. But she wouldn't poop. Poor pee. There's not enough. This is having Giradia, the parasite, the Giradia in stools, is having cats stepping on poop, theirs or other people's, and then they lick their paws and they ingest shit particles. Okay, it's impossible to feed this guy. The ladder that I have at home is gonna get me killed. So I gotta go out to get a ladder. This ladder is like the worst ladder in the world, by the way. So just gonna step outside quickly. Um, got rid of the litter boxes, so they have nowhere to poop. Close the bathroom door because they want to uh, pee pee and poo poo in the bathtub because the litter box is not ideal. So let me do a quick trip. Back in about 15 minutes. Are you kidding? Oh my God. Why does it have to rain right now? Oh my God, it turned out I can actually borrow one from my management office. Can you believe it? Well, the ladder is tall enough, all right, but... This guy's so scared. He's like hyperventilating. He's like growling at me too. I'm surprised she's not attacking me or anything. And just as a side note, um, of all the parasites in cats, Giradia is the one that's not life-threatening. Um, it's not a good idea to have it because it causes loose stools and it's quite easily transmissible to other cats. And it can be quite a biatch uh, in a multi-cat household. So they just kind of loop and circulate this around. Ding ding. You know, some cats with parasites, symptoms include like vomiting the actual worm, like tapeworms and stuff. This is not one of them. You don't even see it in their stools. That's a thing. This stuff is right here. Okay, I can only do it because she got bad teeth on this side. So I'm trying to go and put it here. I know, I know. Okay, gonna lift up her gum. Can I put it? behind her molar. Just kind of wipe it on there. Forces her to lick it. Because her bad teeth is on the left. So I know. I know. Well, I'm quite impressed with her already. I can't really complain. Okay, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. 
Actually, I can't really remember my bed anymore. So I have to be close to the litter boxes, which is right there. And, and basically, I will jump up whenever I hear somebody going to the bathroom, pawing the litter, and I'll just jump and, I don't know, see if it's number one or number two. It's actually like 1 a.m. It's everyone's sleeping time. See if I can actually catch two minutes of sleep while everyone is sleeping right now. Mm. Actually, I don't even know if I can call this sleep because I'm used to um, sleeping with earplugs on. But I guess suddenly it's uh, very useful because that means I can hear them when they're in the litter box. But then that also means I can't sleep. <sighs> okay, right now it's 11. I decided to give them less of a breakfast so everyone's a bit hungry, seeing if I can actually put the stuff in their wet food. Okay, this stuff really tastes like shit. So I put about like <clears throat> five drops in a little bit of her food and she ate it. I just learned that if I actually feed her using my fingers or my hand, she's able to down a lot of the medicine, but she wouldn't eat it out of the dish. That's so weird. And did I tell you my fingers are all nipped from the pill feeding? Why my poly jola all day? Multi cat household, Gerardia in cats pill feeding, not locking them up in a cage. Um, quite stressful, but less stressful for them still. I think my cats kind of hate me, so when I catch them just pooing, I don't let them bury the litter. Instead, I just grab like a big Kleenex and grab the whole poo poo with like a huge ball of cat litter, making sure that it doesn't contaminate the other ones so that I don't have to be flushing money down the toilet every time I throw out all the cat litter after using it once. But Buddy wasn't happy when I pulled him out. He's like, I still need to bury my litter. Sorry, buddy. I had to interrupt Blue Cat in the middle of her dinner because that's the only time when she comes out now, knowing that I feed the pill. Tell she really hates me. Wow, amazing. I did this all by myself today. Wow. You know, yesterday this guy peed his pants. Today with some treats and some cat toys. I tossed it into Sparty Cat's mouth and he doesn't even realize what I put into his mouth. Wow, I, I start to understand when people say cats are like women. What works for them today may not work tomorrow and yeah. I get it. Hmm. Just finished everything gonna sleep on the couch again tonight um, as I have to keep an eye on the litter boxes. Um, thank God I'm actually a very light sleeper so whenever they dig their litter I can hear like every syllable of that. If I'm feeding my cats, oh my god my hands got like heavily punctured. Um, like you know these small holes that you see in my hand? Yeah they look like they don't hurt but I think they're actually kind of inflamed inside because you know I'm still allergic to cats, but damn, they actually hurt. I have them on both my hands. These holes. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. All right, another night sleeping on my couch. And guess who do we have by the litter box? Hey, ding, ding. What up? There's my boy right there. Where's all my cats? No, no cats. Dinning, you're sleeping in some unusual places lately, huh? But you just had some runny poo-poo. Yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I was able to spot it before it got all messy. Right, it's like 3.33 in the morning. And another night of sleep deprivation where I'm sleeping on the couch. <sighs> Ah, this cat Gerardia is like torment for me. I think it just startled him by feeding him medicine. So let's see if we can repair that relationship a little bit. You know, before all this, I actually did some of my homework online. I looked up like feline Gerardia or like how to treat Gerardia in cats or even like in multi-cat households. But then, you know, I actually can't find a lot of solutions. 
So if you think that this solution that I'm providing is a bit funky, it probably is uh, because as just like some of my other solutions, I really have to get quirky with it. Thinking from a cat's perspective, um, it doesn't matter if it becomes hell for me, but I'm just trying to make it less of a hell for them because locking them up in eight rooms is not possible. Having eight cages is hell. And um, yeah, so I thought, you know, because if, if it's transmissible by poop or contaminated, poop then I'll watch the boxes so see here I grabbed the poo as soon as Sparty cat poo pooed and I kind of stopped him from clawing his litter there we go it's not in contact with the other pellets so that can be saved ah, this is only day four three and a half and um, yeah the cats they know what's happening they don't even come down for food now Especially this girl. She usually responds quite well to wet food, but guess what? Nothing. 